Hello and welcome to another video. So today I have a C table that I bought off of Amazon, the company right there on the box. I sit sit you sell. I don't know. I don't know what it means. But let's open it up. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. It's kind of a nice thing to have. Like if you're just uh, hanging out on the couch and want to use your laptop, but you don't want to put it on your uh, lap or something, that's why I bought it. You can also use it as a bedside table. Um, I don't really need it as a bedside table, but like if you have elderly people at home who are bed bound or you know are fall risk, and you want to use it for them to like eat their meals in bed or you know, do whatever they need to do. With the frames. Alright. Instead of coming out, I guess I should open it like it's meant to be open with this thing on top. Let's do that. instruction manual right on top. It is a fairly difficult to open box. I did slice through the box to get to the insides. Okay, so right on top here, installation or steps to make the uh, C table. Let's see, seems, seems pretty simple. This page just shows you the stuff that should come in there and the steps. All right. Let's take this stuff out. More framing stuff. And I guess there's a little basket included in there. Styrofoam, not good for, for the environment at all. I don't like when they use styrofoam packing material, but it makes sense because they do have the protective products. Okay, that's it in the box. As you can see, there was some damage to the box during shipping, but I don't think it's damaged the item actually. Yeah, I see a notch on the table right here and some scratches. So it seems like uh, the, uh, the shipping did damage the product a little bit. It doesn't matter to me. I think that's very minor defect, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so let's make sure we have all the products specified before we start the work. So you have the screw heads, uh, flathead screws, you have the wheels, you have the spinners in here. There's a small wrench in there. There's a socket head wrench. All right, so it seems like everything's in there. The table leg, one, table leg, two, the L-shaped pipe times two, the bottom frame, the side frame. Uh, it's supposed to be some pipe. There's a pipe right here, and there's a horizontal pipe, and there's a tabletop. Okay, so we have all our equipment. I'm just going to make sure that I'm catching it all in the video, which seems like I am. All right, let's get to constructing. So it wants us to use the uh, table legs first. Okay, let's take the plastic off. table legs. I feel like the table legs should be the last thing to do, but 
it wants us to do it first, so we'll do it first. But I've always done the table legs, the, or the wheels as the last thing, because they kind of mess with the integrity of the, uh, the structure. Let's see, make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so this, yep, so there's a silver screw thread there that it matches with the color of the wheel, so it's easy to tell that. See the wheel spins, so you're gonna have to hold the bottom of the screw, or the top of the screw, not the wheel itself, to spin it. The problem I'm noticing is as I unscrew the wheel to kind of rotate my hand it unscrews the so I'm gonna have to use the wrench like I told me to okay so that's pretty easy screw in there I'm not tightening it too much because it's not that big a deal You can hold the wheel in the palm of your hand and use your fingers to tighten the screw. That's, I find that the easiest way. So you're kind of circling your hand around the wheel as if it was a ball. And then at the end, you can use the flat wrench to kind of tighten it. There you go, so that's two for two. All right, two more here. I see why they made you do this first, because it seems to be the most tedious of the works. Alternatively, I'm using two hands to do it, using one hand to steady the wheel and the other fingers to spin the screw. That seems to be working well as well. Step two is use the screws to, seems like the big screws to connect the bottom frame to the wheels. So I think it goes something like this. I'm trying to figure out what's the outside and what's the inside. Um, if it matters. So, uh, don't think it matters, they're kind of identical. So I'm just gonna pretend that this is uh, this side table. Okay, so there's screw threads on this side here. So I'm just gonna thread this through. And you can use your finger to tighten it here. The second screw.
then you can use your socket head wrench to tighten this. Or if you have a screwdriver with this kind of head, then you can use that or a um, different kind of wrench. All right, that's that. Let's get on the other side. Same thing, use the bigger bolts or the longer bolts. Get one too. Get it on the frame. Screw it, screw it down a little bit. Same thing on the other side, get it through the frame. And then kind of just screw it in by hand. If you're having a difficult time um, screwing it in, it may be that you put it in at the wrong angle or the threads are a little too. Oh wait, don't, do not do the other side. I'm skipping steps here. So actually don't put in this other side because you have to put the side frame in first. Okay. We'll get to that. Let's put this, slide this side frame in. So the reason you shouldn't do it, uh, so you shouldn't do it first is because this thing slides in first. So make sure that the open part is on top otherwise it'll be a useless basket. All right, once that's in now, we can make sure that the basket slides through these holes here. And then we can put the screws in. There you go. Same thing over here. And then we can tighten it now. Just trying to skip steps. Never do that. You'll always have to backtrack. These bolts are tighter than the other ones. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use the different bolts, but it looks like they're all A, so I'm not sure why it's tighter. It must be the screw threads on the other side. They may not be as wide as on the other side. This does require a lot of force on this side. The other side was, as you saw me, I could screw it in with just my um, hand most of the way. Not sure why it's so difficult on this side, but it's okay. We can get it in. There you go. All right, step five. Use a screw to connect the round horizontal pipe with the table leg. So that makes this pipe into these screw holes here. It's going in fairly easy, so the threads are appropriate here. Same thing on the other side. Okay, step six. Use two more screws to put this thing somewhere. Okay, to connect these two. We're gonna connect these two using the square pipe. All right. So the screw part in here is actually kind of recessed, which makes me wonder why that is. Okay, so make sure you use the long screws to do that. You should only have two more long screws left. There you go. It's not actually going in as these other screws. So I'm going to hold the screw in place and see if I, can. if I can't squeeze it into the screw thread. There we go. Took a little bit of force, so I kind of held the screw in place with the wrench and then uh, used the pipe for leverage, uh, the square pipe, because I can get a better grip on that. And uh, mostly in on one side, I'll have to tighten it after. Get it to the second side. Let's see again, look for the longer bolts. So, in this two, the longer one size A and the smaller one size B. Just making sure it's still recording. So make sure that the square pipe is staying flat with the top of your surface here, otherwise uh, you'll have a hard time placing the 
desktop on there. there you go. All right. So then we put onto the desk surface here and use the B screws to do that. So the curved side will have the end pieces of the tabletop here. So there you go. So I just figured out why I was having a hard time placing one of the screws. Um, I think I might have used screw B instead of screw A on um, one of these. Um, because I have a screw B left over. Or screw A left over, so I'll fix that a little bit. If you hear a bunch of typing in the back, that's just my wife working. Got this one, now I'm supposed to put this on here and screw it in place. I'm just banging it in place. I'll make sure it gets all the way down. the purpose of uh, okay so I just said left over these I don't think I used the wrong screws I just you just get one left or A and B um, you, you're supposed to use these spinners to tighten so whatever height you want it at you're going to use the spinners to hold it in place to that height so it gets pretty low this is about okay so the wheels locked in place with these little hooks it rolls pretty easily right now. Let me make sure it's not locked anywhere. Nope. Okay, it rolls fairly easily. Um, these uh, spinners are how you make sure that it's held in place. So, as you can see, if I just put any weight in it, it's going to slide down. But say I want it at this height, I get it to that height, and then I use the spinners to kind of tighten it or lock it in place and then now it doesn't go down so there you have it um, it's a smaller surface area than I thought it is it, will, it would be but uh, here's my laptop and I'll still have some space for a drink if I wanted to so I think it's enough space for me um, I can still have some space for a drink here. Um, I want to push it all the way to the back. Have some space to rest my hands here. Um, let's see how high we can make it. You have to undo the spinners on the bottom to loosen it up. And then you can kind of leverage the bottom with your foot and then lift it up. So it can get fairly high. Let's see. I think what happens is uh, um, if you lift it unevenly, there you go. I think I lifted it unevenly. It kind of goes out of alignment there, and then it doesn't slide down as easily. So I think the design is not that good. 
you have to like use both your hands to lift the table up. But I think the point is you get it to a certain height you need it at and then leave it at that height. So there you have it. There's a little basket here. Um, there's a little frame on the bottom to put some stuff, maybe newspapers or something like that. So I have this uh, placed here on my couch with my kick legs sticking out and I can comfortably uh, use the screen. I can also use it as if I'm using a desk and my feet can go under the table, no problem which you won't be able to do with a cocktail table or something like that. So you can use it either way. And uh, this is the more, if you're like more into what you're doing, the other way, if you're just watching some uh, YouTube videos or um, just uh, browsing through the web, either way, um, it's helpful. More helpful probably as a side table in a bed, so you can uh, scoot it on the bed, but this couch is not high enough for me to slide it on the couch. You may have a couch where it is, uh, able to be slid under in which case you'll be able to slide it under your uh, sofa just like that anyways thank you for watching like subscribe comment and i'll see you on the next one